Hello, uh, Dan here with another uh, Brown Lick review. Please excuse my uh, awkward transition. I'm trying out a, a new camera here and I'm realizing that there's just no cool way to do it. So, uh, but I think it works better. Uh, you guys don't have to look straight up my nose anymore. Um, and I think the sound quality is a little bit better. And um, I get to, this is my little downstairs bar area, just where I like to have my own little nook in the house where I can you know, keep all my junk that my wife would usually make me throw away. I wanted to do a really, really quick review um, and uh, just kind of tell you about uh, this product that I found uh, just when I was out whiskey hunting last week. I hadn't heard anything about it, but this one is called uh, Johnny Walker Select Casks. It is 10 years old. Um, and this one has a rye cask finish and as you guys know, I'm a sucker for rye, so I thought I got to try it. Uh, I'm just going to pour myself a little bit. Um, I sat down and was doing uh, tasting notes for this and to be absolutely honest with you, uh, this is... Uh, not a product that I would recommend buying, but let me get into the specifics. Uh, let me see here. This is this is actually bottled at 46% ABV, uh, which is nice. I think that was one of the other reasons why I bought it. It's got that. It's got the 10-year statement. It's got the the you know the 46% ABV. So I took a sniff, and man, is it rough. Um, it's really grain, grain rough. Uh, it smells nothing like a 10 year old. I mean, these, the casts that they must have had them in before the rye must have just been completely washed out and just kind of nasty. <laughs> Let me take a bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't want to totally, but I mean, you can see my face, you know, and the, it looks like I'm a first time whiskey drinker here by the look on my face. So the first time actually that I had a drink of it, I, uh, I gagged, not going to lie. The, uh, the corn in it, the, the, it's got to be. I mean, it's a blend, but it's got to be almost all green whiskey. Um, it has an awful aftertaste, and uh, the finish is pretty much just disgusting. So, this looks like an awesome product, all right? This was $42, okay? Um, and so, if you see it, I know you're going to be intrigued because you guys have good eyes for whiskey. And this is a very unique product. I've never heard of a scotch being finished in a rye cask before. Um, and I'm thinking that they're going to try to use rye casks because, one, there's a lot more rye being made in the United States. So there's going to be a lot more rye barrels available, whereas the bourbon barrels are on short demand these days. And, um, you know, from, from other scotch makers, but also... You know, here in the United States, the big thing right now is for craft brewers to put their beers into into bourbon barrels. Uh, usually, those are the ones that carry uh, the most hype: are the imperial stouts, the barley wines, you know, so on and so forth that have been barrel aged. And so, unlike any time before in the past, uh, the Scotch market is trying to compete with buying. Uh, you know, good quality ex bourbon barrels, uh, and I just don't think they're out there like they used to. So, you know, this is Johnny Walker, they're giving it a shot with rye, um, and just their flavor profile, I just don't think goes well uh, with a rye cask, it's just kind of contradictory to one another. Um, and so, I just wanted to let you guys know that you probably shouldn't buy this. 
Uh, I usually don't make, have reviews like this. I usually like to keep it positive, uh, but I did drop 40 some dollars on this one and I just wanted to let you know um, for buyer beware. But if you do buy this and you do enjoy it, please let me know. Uh, like I said, look, I got a lot left. Maybe it needs to air out a little bit, and if it does, then I'll um, I'll comment on it and let you know. Um, but for right now, uh, stay away unless you're just feeling adventurous. Okay, so here's another brown liquor review. This one's a little bit more of a public service announcement, um, but you know, enjoy good whiskey. I'm just gonna put this here. Thank you.